A Nairobi-based policy analyst says that the accusation of so-called genocide and forced labor in China's Xinjiang have been debunked several times. Uh, we have seen, for example, people from the East, uh, people from the Middle East, top officials, top diplomats, having a tour of Xinjiang, and they have come out with a clean bill of health. The conspiracy theory has been debunked several times, and uh, we have seen in the media photos of delegations who have been there. So we are not uh, anymore duped by such allegations, and we know the real intentions of such malicious uh, you know, uh, publicity. China is now the second largest economy in the world, so this is just a ruse. Uh, all these allegations are meant to hit China where it hurt most, and that is its economic growth. But definitely it's going to fail. Indegwa says that the U.S. move to discredit China by spreading lies exposes its intentions for hegemony in the world. He adds that lies cannot fool all the people all the time. I think the U.S. has lied to the world for very long uh, in order to get ahead, in order to propagate its hegemony. Uh, it reminds me, for example, of the so-called weapons of mass destruction that the late Iraq president, Saddam Hussein, was supposedly harboring in the country. It was an excuse to invade the country, and we know how it ended up. Uh, in Afghanistan, of course, we have seen the debacle play out once more. So I think the U.S. needs to keep down its lies, and if it wants credibility, it needs to be honest about what is happening elsewhere. So lies don't sell, of course, and the truth at one point um, will come out. And as they say, you can fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. So I think uh, the U.S. lies are exposed, and definitely it is exposed itself.